Welcome to The Leak, still the only new show on TV that begins with dubstep. Your move, Media Watch. I'm your host, Michael Schaefer. <laughs> on The Leak, we analyse the news, we break down the issues, and if you saw last week's episode, we mostly make fun of Jackie Lambie. So to help me do this, uh, you might know her from Live on Bowen and Offbeat. Please welcome Elizabeth Davey. <laughs> and you might recognise him from going through your bins earlier. Please welcome Anthony McCormack. <laughs> Now, guys, uh, huge news this week. Oprah is in Melbourne. Very exciting. And for the start of her Australian tour, yes, she is. She knows how to start a show. Let's check this out. I'm back! I'm back! Hello! Her show goes for 90 minutes and half of it is just her saying hello, mostly. I love Oprah because no matter what she says, people are going to clap, people are going to cheer. She could be saying, I have jet lag! <laughs> <laughs> and you have jet lag, and you, you have jet lag, you have jet lag. Jet lag. <laughs> No, I love how inspirational she is. Like, no matter what she says, like, if she came out and said, I've got jet lag, people in the audience will be like, oh my god, that was so inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I have jet lag, I'm gonna overcome it like Oprah does. How, you have jet lag? How did you get jet lag? I need jet lag for myself. <laughs> <laughs> She's my life oracle. <laughs> now, the VIP tickets for this, for this um, event were $2,500. Right, that, that may sound expensive, but when you think about it, it's actually a pretty cheap way to get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Oprah is great because um, she has this amazing humility about her, but I think she can be too humble. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. I don't even know why y'all are here. <laughs> Did you say they spent $2,500 to be there and Oprah doesn't even know? Don't say that, Oprah! I'm she just gonna riff! <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be like, hey guys, uh, thanks for coming, but you should've just stayed home and watched Netflix, to be honest. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and here are a few of my favourite shows. <laughs> Oh, now, to celebrate the Paris climate talks, uh, oil company Shell made this ad that's basically a trailer from the shittest French movie ever. Let's take a look. Son amour était intermittent. Seulement quand le soleil brillait, le vent soufflait. Elle rencontra gaz naturel. Comme elle, il était propre. Et il était bon marché. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but that went down like a cup of cold sick. <laughs> you know it's a great video when they've disabled the YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> this ad is wrong in so many ways. We literally don't have time to list them all, but let's try. <laughs> so firstly, if a fedora wearing man called Natural Gas <laughs> propositioned me, <laughs> I would call the police. <laughs> Can you imagine his RSVP profile where he describes himself as cheap and cleaner than most? <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No, that doesn't work, yeah. Like, I... Second, he literally chases her. I demand. <laughs> I love that his pickup line is, I am cleaner than most. Because <laughs> that does not work in real life. Like, if you approach one on the street and you were like, oh, bonjour, baby, I am uh, cleaner than the most. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? He is so creepy. Girl, I will love you when the sun no longer shines because of climate change. <laughs> no longer blows through all the thick smog. <laughs> Trust me, girl, I want to frack you all night long. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's face it, he's only reliable because he's got no other options. <laughs> Renewable energy is way out of his league, so he's trying to gaslight her so she feels like she needs him, you know? And, like, and check out the end of the ad, right? Energy renewable et gaz naturel formèrent une belle relation. Right. 
right. So in the end, renewable energy loses her mind and she gets together with natural gas. Here's the best bit, which I really don't think was intentional. The end point of the ad is that natural gas, read men, will be totally obsolete in a few years and women don't need them or their fedoras anymore. <laughs> right? You know what, Elizabeth, speaking of uh, obsolete, it looks like former Prime Minister Tony Abbott is finally putting this whole leadership spill nonsense behind him. The, uh, the Nationals had their Christmas party this week and Old Tones was in such good spirits he tried his hand at karaoke. But what was the song that he chose to sing? Uh, uh, we pick your life together with suspicious with suspicious and we can't build our dreams on suspicious did you hear him providing his own backup vocals there? <laughs> <laughs> I think Suspicious Minds is a pretty good choice for a karaoke song, but perhaps a better choice would have been Let it go! Let it go! I think, uh, I think half this audio was made, uh, the UN Human Rights Council did issue Tony with another warning. I mean, like, <laughs> we can deal with children detention centres, but that was just too much, Tony. That is <laughs> over the line. Oh my god. Now, we don't actually have video for that clip, but I just love all the background noise with people talking over him. Like, <laughs> just like in his days in office, no one is listening to old tones. <laughs> Except maybe Kevin Andrews and Erica Betts up the front waving their lighters, tears streaming down their face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, with that image, we're going to get to a break, but uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>